Yashar, Jasher, 67. There was a man in the land of Mitraim of the seed of Levi, whose name was Amram, the son of Kohat, the son of Levi, the son of Yasharael. And this man went and took a woman, namely Yokaved, the daughter of Levi, his father's sister, and she was 126 years old, and he came unto her. And the woman conceived and bore a daughter, and she called her name Miriam, because in those days the Mitzrim had embittered the lives of the children of Yasharael. And she conceived again and bore a son, and she called his name Ahran, for in the days of her conception, Pharaoh began to spill the blood of the male children of Yasharael. In those days di died Sepho, the son of Eliphaz, son of Esau, king of Kittim, and Janius reigned in his stead. And the time that Sepho reigned over the children of Kittim was fifty years, and he died and was buried in the city of Nabna, in the land of Kittim. And Janius, one of the mighty men of the children of Kittim, reigned after him, and he reigned fifty years. And it was after the death of the king of Kittim that Bilam, the son of Beor, fled from the land of Kittim. And he went and came to Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh received him with great honor, for he had heard of his wisdom, and he gave him presents and made him for a counselor, and aggrandized him. And Bilam dwelt in Mitzrayim in honor with all the nobles of the king, and the nobles exalted him because they all coveted to learn his wisdom. And in the hundred and thirtieth year of Yasharael's going down to Mitzrayim, Pharaoh dreamed that he was sitting upon his kingly throne and lifted up his eyes and saw an old man standing before him. And there were scales in the hands of the old man, such scales as are used by merchants. And the old man took the scales and hung them before Pharaoh. And the old man took all the elders of Mitzrayim and all its nobles and great men, and he tied them together and put them in one scale. And he took a milk kid and put it into the other scale, and the kid preponderated over all. And Pharaoh was astonished at this dreadful vision, why the kid should preponderate over all. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And Pharaoh rose up early in the morning and called all his servants and related to them the dream. And the men were greatly afraid. And the king said to all his wise men, Interpret, I pray you, the dream which I dreamed, that I may know it. And Balaam, the son of Beor, answered the king and said unto him, This means nothing else but a great evil that will spring up against Mitzrayim in the latter days. For a son will be born to Yasharael, who will destroy all Mitzrayim and its inhabitants and bring forth Yasharael from Mitzrayim with a mighty hand. Now therefore, O king, take counsel upon this matter, that you may destroy the hope of the children of Yasharael and their expectation before this evil arise against Mitzrayim. And the king said unto Bilam, 
And what shall we do unto Yashadael? Surely after a certain manner did we at first counsel against them, and could not prevail over them. Now therefore give you also advice against them, by which we may prevail over them. And Bilam answered the king, saying, Send now and call your two counselors, and we will see what their advice is upon this matter. And afterward your servant will speak. And the king sent and called his two counselors, Reuel the Midiani, and Iav the Utsi, and they came and sat before the king. And the king said to them, Behold, you have both heard the dream which I have dreamed, and the interpretation thereof. Now therefore give counsel and know and see what is to be done to the children of Yashadael, whereby we may prevail over them before their evil shall spring up against us. And Reuvel, rather Reuel, the Midiani, answered the king and said, May the king live, may the king live forever. If it seem good to the king, let him desist from the Ivrim and leave them, and let him not stretch forth his hand against them, for these are they whom Yahuwah chose in days of old and took as the lot of his inheritance from amongst all the nations of the earth and the kings of the earth. And who is there that stretched out, rather stretched his hand against them with impunity, of whom their Elohim was not avenged? Surely you know that when Avraham went down to Mitzrayim, Pharaoh, the former king of Mitzrayim, saw Sarah, his woman, and took her for a woman, because Avraham said, She is my sister, for he was afraid, lest the men of Mitzrayim should slay him on account of his woman. And when the king of Mitzrayim had taken Sarah, then Elohim smote him and his household with heavy plagues, until he restored unto Avraham his woman Sarah. Then was he healed. And Avimelech the Gerari, king of the Peleshitim, Elohim punished on account of Sarah, woman of Avraham, in stopping up every womb from man to beast. When their Elohim came to Avimelech in the dream of night and terrified him, in order that he might restore to Avraham Sarah, whom he had taken, and afterward all the people of Gerar were punished on account of Sarah, and Avraham prayed to his Elohim for them, and he was entreated of him, and he healed them. And Avimelech feared all this evil that came upon him and his people, and he returned to Avraham his woman Sarah, and gave him with her many gifts. He did also, rather, he did so also to Yitzchak, when he had driven him from Gerar, and Elohim had done wonderful things to him, that all the water courses of Gerar were dried up, and their productive trees did not bring forth. Until Avimelech of Gerar and Achuzat, one of his friends, and Pikol, the captain of his host, went to him, and they bent and bowed down before him to the ground. And they requested of him to supplicate for them. And he prayed to Yahuwah for them. And Yahuwah was entreated of him, and he healed them. Yaakov also, the plain man, was delivered through his integrity from the hand of his brother Esau and the hand of Lavan, the Amrami, 
his mother's brother, who had sought his life. Likewise, from the hand of all the kings of Canaan, who had come together against him and his children to destroy them. And Yahuwah delivered them out of their hands, that they returned upon them and smote them. For who had ever stretched forth his hand against them with impunity? Surely Pharaoh, the former, your father's father, raised Yosef, the son of Yaakov, above all the princes of the land of Mitzrayim, when he saw his wisdom. For through his wisdom, he rescued all the inhabitants of the land from the famine. After which he ordered Yaakov and his children to come down to Mitzrayim, in order that through their virtue, the land of Mitzrayim and the land of Goshen might be delivered from the famine. Now, therefore, if it seem good in your eyes, cease from destroying the children of Yashadael. But if it be not your will that they should dwell in Mitzrayim, send them forth from here, that they may go to the land of Canaan, the land where their ancestors sojourned. And when Pharaoh heard the words of Yitro, he was very angry with him so that he rose with shame from the king's presence and went to Midian, his land, and took Yosef's stick with him. And the king said to Eov, the Utsi, What say you, Eov, and what is your advice respecting the Ivrim? So Eov said to the king, Behold, all the inhabitants of the land are in your power. Let the king do as it seems good in his eyes. And the king said unto Bilam, What do you say, Bilam? Speak your word, that we may hear it. And Bilam said to the king, Of all that the king has counseled against the Ivrim, will they be delivered? And the king will not be able to prevail over them with any counsel. For if you think to lessen them by the flaming fire, you cannot prevail over them. For surely their Elohim delivered Avraham their father from Ur of the Kazdim. And if you think to destroy them with a sword, surely Yitzhak their father was delivered from it, and a ram was placed in his stead. And if with hard and rigorous labor you think to lessen them, you will not prevail even in this. For their father, Yaakov, served Lavan in all manner of hard work and prospered. Now, therefore, O king, hear my words, for this is the counsel which is counseled against them, by which you will prevail over them, and from which you should not depart. If it please the king, let him order all their children which shall be born from this day forward, to be thrown into the water. For by this can you wipe away their name. For none of them, nor of their fathers, were tried in this manner. And the king heard the words of Balaam, and the thing pleased the king and the princes. And the king did according to the word of Balaam. And... The king ordered a proclamation to be issued and a law to be made throughout the land of Mitzrayim, saying, Every male child born to the Ivrim from this day forward shall be thrown into the water. And Pharaoh called unto all his servants, saying, Go now and seek throughout the land of Goshen, where the children of Yashara'el are, and see that every son born to the Ivrim, shall be cast into the river. But every daughter you shall let live. And when the children of Yashara'el heard this thing, which Pharaoh had commanded, to cast their male children into the river, some of the people separated from their women, and others adhered to them. And from that day forward, when the time of delivery arrived, 
to those women of Yashar'el who had remained with their men. They went to the field to bring forth there, and they brought forth in the field and left their children upon the field and returned home. And Yahuwah, who had sworn to their ancestors to multiply them, sent one of his ministering angels, which are in heaven, to wash each child in water, to anoint and swathe it, and to put it into its hands two smooth stones, from one of which it sucked milk, and from the other honey. And he caused its hair to grow to its knees, by which it might cover itself, to comfort it and to cleave to it through his compassion for it. And when Elohim had compassion over them and had desired to multiply them upon the face of the land, he ordered his earth to receive them to be preserved therein till the time of their growing up, after which the earth opened its mouth and vomited them forth, and they sprouted forth from the city like the herb of the earth and the grass of the forest. And they returned each to his family and to his father's house, and they remained with them. And the babes of the children of Yashadael were upon the earth like the herb of the field, through Elohim's grace to them. And when all the Mitzrim saw this thing, they went forth, each to his field, with his yoke of oxen and his plowshare. And they plowed it up as one plows the earth at seed time. And when they plowed, they were unable to hurt the infants of the children of Yashara'el. So the people increased and waxed exceedingly. And Pharaoh ordered his officers daily to go to Goshen to seek for the babes of the children of Yashara'el. And when they had sought and found one, they took it from its mother's bosom by force and threw it into the river. But the female child they left with its mother. Thus did the Mitzrim do to Yashara'el all the days.